there's a really tight turnaround for this load. They want me to do it so unnaturally fast, but I'm taking it because the rate was so good. Mwah. The pickup and the drop-off are all in El Paso. It's going from a storage facility to a coliseum. So the only difficulty is getting all the pieces loaded up. But I don't know how big is each piece. Maybe it's like a puzzle. And then how heavy it is, gosh, I could only imagine. They have all the equipment I need at load up and drop off, so I just need to get it there fast. So I have to move like the wind. The rate I'm getting for this run is 2,400. And the reason why that's so good is because my expenses are almost zilch. Maybe 100 to cover gas, wear, and tear and all. So it's basically gonna be straight profit for one day's work. That ain't bad. Plus, I get to see some roller derby girls skate because they said I can stay and watch once they get it assembled. But I don't know anything about roller derby. I've never been on roller skates. The only thing I know is these girls look really buff, but I'm super tough and a boss ass bitch. So I think we'll get along. These girls might be tough on the track, but I am tough in the truck. I really don't want to scrape that. Oh, this is so small. Oh my god. <gasps> Holy crap, this is a lot tighter than I had thought. <laughs> I thought they said some my trucks could fit in here. They lied. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Don't scratch the truck. Did I hit the fence? I hit the fence. They said they have trucks in here. Semi trucks? Or small, tiny baby trucks? Let's try this again. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to make this work. <sighs> Barely made it through, but I did. I'm supposed to find the head of the roller derby league, Ivy, and she's supposed to show me all that I need to ship. And I'm hoping it's not gonna be a million pieces. Hi, hey, Ivy, born my roller derby. Ooh, nice to meet you. Cute outfit. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you ready to check the load? Yeah, all let's right, go cool. do it. All right, so this is pretty much our truck. This is a lot of pallets. Yeah. Um, well, I'll try to do it all in one shot. Do you have a forklift? Unfortunately, with a forklift, we don't. It broke down. So oh could you can make arrangements for a forklift? I'll try to see, but it might cost you a little extra. Are you OK with that? Uh, we'll see. It's not the worst case scenario in terms of pieces, but the fact that I don't have equipment to load it isn't great, and it sounds like the cost to get a forklift may be an issue. But we'll cross that bridge later, because first I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of one. I need a forklift, and I need either a four foot, six foot, or 12 foot. Hi, I need a forklift today. Do you have one? God, this place doesn't have anything. Well, this isn't good, so I'm gonna keep calling until I can find one, and if I can't, well, then I'll have to figure that out. So I found a place with a forklift with an operator and a helper, and I have them all day for the pickup and the drop-off for $300, so that's a great deal for all that. My only issue is the expense should be on Ivy. So once I get to drop-off, I'm taking this up with her because I'm not taking this load off my trailer until we come to an agreement. Okay, down. All right, that worked. Let's get another one. Stable enough. I got it. I'm very happy that we figured it out and got everything loaded how I need. But now I have to race to get to the drop off by the deadline. And I'm not sure if I can get it unloaded in time, but I'm sure gonna give it a shot. Ta-da, all done, ready to go, ready to drive. I'm rushing to the other side of El Paso to get this derby track in time for the event. Ivy's a really tough customer, and she might be small, but she is a tough woman right there. And I don't want to give her any more excuses to not pay me for the forklifts, but as long as this load is on my truck, 
and in my possession, I'm not taking it off until Ivy agrees to cover the cost of what should have been her responsibility in the first place. So if she thinks I'm gonna be a pushover, oh, she's got another thing coming. I don't like to say this, but because I'm a woman, this happens to me like so much more. People just think they could sway me to like change my mind, but I know my way around my wallet. So if I could just whip out my man voice and just tell them, oh buddy, I feel like they could just shut up. Ah, oh, you made it. Yes, in one piece. How was the drive? You know, a little stressful rushing to get here, but um, I got it here, everything looks good, mm -hmm. and I'm ready for payment. So it's 2,400, right? Yep, 2,400. And I'm gonna need 300 more for the forklifts that you guys didn't have. I'll tell you what, I'll settle for it because I'm a nice person and you have a cute outfit. I knew this outfit would pay off. <laughs> <laughs> Although it hurts me. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to come to an agreement and Ivy can see that I'm not some pushover, doormat, or Molly. I am just as tough as them. Well, maybe not as tough, but I am still tough. But now we have to get this unloaded quickly because we're running out of time. All in all, I could pay 2,400 for this run. And my general expenses were about 100. And since Ivy agreed to cover the forklift as she should have, my profit is at least 2,300 for this one day run. So I'm very happy about that. Get ready to witness some amazing ship. Come on, mama, we got a deadline. Shipping Wars is back and bigger than ever. Good. Only on A&E.